That makes one of us X. <laughs> I am so not ready because I've been gone this whole weekend and I am so socialed out. So, you know, nothing like trying to recite poetry to uh, fix the introverted, socially tapped out person. Great idea. I almost called it off because I'm like, sleep's important. <laughs> See, I almost forgot my scarf. Heaven forbid I don't wear my scarf. All it needs is a scarf, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is totally an experiment, so we'll see how this goes, of whether this is a, <laughs> a one-time only deal, or like a, can I grow with this and figure out how to do this a little bit more often? So I warn those who are joining, this stream's a little bit different than usual. I'm trying something different where, well, the ambient music isn't different. If you've been here for the last two months, that's mostly what I do right, right now. But in honor of Juneteenth, I'm trying to honor it in a way that I can, um, which is to kind of like just pause and reflect on past history and where we've come and where we need to go um, and just kind of recite some poetry that may be easy to listen to, may not always be easy to listen to, but to give food for thought. So that's where we're going to try this stream. Also of note, similarly to what I've done with Rainbow Roll, um, let's see if I set these up correctly. Like, I urge if people have a chance and they're able to, to like donate directly to Black, Black Girls Code. Um, but anything that I earn during the stream will go to this as well. Um, I've just been in the month between uh, the Trevor Project and Black Girls Code and trying to raise awareness to organizations that focus a lot on well, youth organizations, particularly, to help support um, in the ways that don't always get looked at. So, food for thought. I think I also do have channel points redemption, so if at any point that I'm not doing a poem, if someone wants me to recite a poem, feel free to do that. I think I set that up in time. Again, I was just away this weekend. <laughs> One of the books I recently got, um, Call Us What We Carry by Amanda Gorman. And she was like the youth poet laureate um, recently. Um, and um, she is a really, really impressive individual. So probably a lot of the poets, poetry that I'll read is from that. Uh, this one is called Arborescent One. 
we are arborescent. What goes unseen is at the very root of ourselves. Distance can distort our deepest sense of who we are, leave us warped and wasted. As winter's wind, we will not walk from what we've borne. We would keep it for a while, sit silent and swing on its branches, like a child refusing to come home. We would keep, we would weep, knowing how we would again give up our world for this one. No, thank you, Wombra. <laughs> a little humor is always a good thing, believe me. <laughs> I also feel like if it was a bad part, you would give me a pass. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> God, I love that emote, Bumbo. <laughs> hey, Dana.
age, Aiden. How's it going? Gypsy Moonlight, how are you doing? Sub Tawambra. You know who you put the emotes to good use. <laughs> Nobody doubts this. going. 
See? Wombra's already putting it to good use. <laughs> Again, for those who are trickling in, um, here, I'll take some voices out. Um, so basically doing, I don't know how long the stream is going to be. It depends on my energy levels because they've been tapped out significantly <laughs> this, this weekend. Hence why I started later than I wanted to because I needed a nap. And then I had to realize I had to set everything up <laughs> in time for this. But um, this is a combination of um, ambient music and um, poetry readings from uh, select black authors that um, are meaningful to me in, in honor of Juneteenth. So, um, so that's the experimental stream I'm doing today. Um, this was in practice, so not sure how well this is going. I mean, you know me, I'm self-judge. Anyways, um, so that's what's happening with the stream today. Um, chill music, insightful poetry, um, and similar to what I did for Rainbow Roll, um, anything that's... I usually urge if people go directly to the website, they'll get the direct donations, but I'm trying to honor um, this great organization called Black Girls Code. Um, so if you want to help support... Um, girls of color um, into um, the support they need for STEM roles, technology roles. Um, it's a wonderful organization. But any bits or subs that come in through my stream today will also go to that. So, Okay, enough talking about that stuff. Although it's important, but you know. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> Thanks, Jaden. poem is called Surviving. These words need not be read for our blood to run through them. When tragedy threatens to end us, we are flooded by what is felt. Our faces fluctuating, warped like an acre passing seasons. Perhaps the years are plotted and planned, just like seeds in a fresh plowed field. When we dream, we act only with instinct. We might, not, we might not fully be sure of all that we are, and yet we have endured all that we were. Even now we're shuddering, the revelation aching. It didn't have to be this way. In fact, it did not have to be. The gone were are no threshold, no stepstone beneath our feet. Even as they did not die, for us we shall move for them. We shall only learn when we let this loss, like us, sing on and on. insightful stuff if I need to. For once, I could use my voice for something <laughs> other than me chatting. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Cloud. 
classic. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Also, thank you for the bits. Oh, thank you, Koblox. It's good to see you. Oh yeah, Doey, go right ahead. Thank, thank you for asking. Totally fine. Take your time.
classic don't you dare make me cry on stream because I'll do it <laughs> everyone for the hype train. Like I said, all of that will go to uh, the Black Girls Code organization. So thanks for your support on that. thousand bits. I don't think I'm kicking. I think all the walking yesterday kicked my ass, so <laughs> I'm not doing much ass kicking at the moment. <laughs> hey, Miss Marte, good to see you. Dead Fox, good to see you. Also, thank you for the gifts up to Captain Cardamari. This poem is called The Shallows. Touch deficient and light starved we were, like an inverted flame, eating any warmth down to its studs. The deepest despair is ravenous. It takes and takes and takes. A stomach is never satisfied. This is not hyperbole. All that is gorgeous and good and decent is no luxury not when its void brings us to the wide wharf of war. Even as we stand stone still, it's with the entirety of what we've lost sweeping through us like a ghost. 
What we have lived remains indecipherable. And yet we remain, and still we write, and so we write. Watch us move above the fog, like a promontory at dusk. Shall we live this bitter or better? Grieve, then choose. Hold on, Jaden, I'll type out the name of the book. It's a really good book, and she's an incredible poet for such a young age, so highly, highly recommend. Thank you for asking. I get, believe me, it's hard for me to process different types of literature in different ways, and sometimes I can't absorb it all in like a spoken format, and I need to read it to kind of absorb it better. So, thank you for asking, honestly.
also scramble to get the set of so this room. <laughs> my room is darker than usual to see things. <laughs> I, in theory, was going to start the stream at 5 p.m. my time. You would have gotten a much sleepier, crankier Robin that way. <laughs> so delaying it made a little bit more sense. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Zurich, how's it going? Because Twitch. <laughs> the answer is because Twitch. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Don Dark Sony, thank you for the gift sum to Loki, Loki Doom. Dewey, thank you for that raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you're all well. For those of you joining in, doing a little bit of a different stream today. Well, if you know me, the ambient music isn't new. That's the same, but... Um, in honor of Juneteenth, I'm doing a combination of ambient music along with um, black poetry um, recitement. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And um, as I said earlier, um, I've been urging people, if you can, directly donate to um, the organization Black Girls Code. But all uh, bits and subs and donations that come through the stream today, I will also forward in their general direction for support of young black girls, you know, giving them the support to be able to do tech roles that they don't always have the access of education and support to do so. Switch things up a little bit. Oh, that, Zerich, that is okay. Sleep is very important, especially <laughs> in the European time zone. So <laughs> sleep well. Hey, your opponent. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the resub. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no one said we love time zones. <laughs> Always Texas. Oh, these days, I feel like the response to me, always Texas or always Florida. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> today. Hello, similar note. That's true. Wasn't planning to do that for this stream, but uh, I might be able to work that in. So give me a few minutes. I will I'll make that happen. Sorry. <laughs> I, I forgot I put him over there. I'm like, what are you talking about? Smooch is sitting over there. I'm a little slow. What do you want from me? <laughs> yes, actually. I was going to recite one right now, your opponent. This one is called And So. It is easy to harp, harder to hope. This truth, like the white blown sky, can only be felt in its entirety or not at all. The glorious was not made to be piecemeal. Despite being drenched with dread, this dark girl still dreams. We smile like a sun that is never shunted. Grief, when it goes, does so softly. Like the exit of that breath, we just realized we clutched. Since the world is round, there is no way to walk away from each other, for even then we are coming back together. Some distances, if allowed to grow, are merely the greatest proximities. for the posture check. Thanks for the follow, Storm. <laughs> I'll beat people to it. I feel like I'm going to be drinking more water with this set. <laughs> Also of note, 
unless I didn't set it up correctly, but tell me otherwise. I did put a channel points redemption that if someone wants me to recite a poem sooner, that they can do so. <laughs> That's fair, Jaden. <laughs> Sometimes we have to work with the metaphors and not the reality. <laughs> oh yeah, cowboy. Enjoy your dinner. sharks. <laughs> All right, it's another poetry. Hello, more to grow. Nice to meet you. Okay, this one is called Cut. There is no simple way to hurt. The real damage is damned, disrupted. We must change, this ending in every way. Disease is psychological death. Loneliness is a social one, or the old we collapses like a lung. Some days, we just need a place where we can bleed in peace. Our only word for this is poem. There is no right way to say how we have missed one another. Some traumas flood past the body. An ache unbordered by bone. When we shift towards a kindred soul, it is with the cut of all our lives. Perhaps pain is like a name, made to sing just for you. We issue an apology for our warbling palms. We are still hurt, but for now, we no longer hurt one another. There is no meek way to mend. You must ruin us carefully. That's fine. This is the perfect stream to lurk. Tell in the mood I said hi and give hugs. Also to Oliver. Thank you. 
what Joey said. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Knox.
so much for the five gift subs. Again, all of that with, you know, everything that's come through in addition to whatever you do directly is going to that. So thanks, Jaden. That means a lot. called Good Grief. The origin of the word trauma is not just wound, but piercing or turning, as blades do when finding home. Grief commands its own grammar, structured by intimacy and imagination. We often say we are beside ourselves with grief. We can't even imagine. This means anguish can call us to envision more than what we believed was carryable or even survivable. This is to say there does exist a good grief. The hurt is how we know we are alive and awake. It clears us for all the exquisite, excruciating enormities to come. We are pierced new by the turning forward. All that is grave need not be a burden an anguish. Call it, instead, an anchor. Grief grounding us in its sea. Despair exits us the same way it enters, turning through the mouth. Even now, conviction works, strange magic on our tongues. We are built up again by what we build, find, see, say, remember, know. What we carry means we survive. It is what survives us. We have survived us. Where once we were alone, now we are beside ourselves. Where once we were barbed and brutal as blades, now we can only imagine. As I catch up on chat, hi bats. <laughs> and Dark, Dark Sony, thank you for the gift subs to Bats and Andromeda. You are a sweetheart. Oh, thank you, Zen, for the bits. Hey, Kashaka, how's it going? Hopefully you would, you would Miss Morte approve. Part of the inspiration of this came from like the two of you doing the poetry readings on your stream. So hopefully this is a shadow of decency to what you two do.
Thank you, Bats, for the bits. Much appreciated. Correct bats. All of the stuff that's um, coming through today that isn't being. I'm encouraging people to, to like go directly to their site to donate, but everything that's coming through the stream is going directly to them once I pull everything together. That is inf the information regarding Black Girls Code. I wanted to do something a little bit differently because. Um, there's always the, you know, the usual NAACP and the ACLU and so forth, but again, trying to find ways to help support uh, youth foundations as much as possible. And again, it's such a great cause. So yes, your bits will go to that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also had pancakes this morning. I had blueberry pancakes, so. Oh, that's awesome, Bats. I'm so glad that you you know about them. Yay. Oh, I just, I just caught up to Jaden's thing. I'll, I'll make sure to, you know, make it as yoga chill out. <laughs> if that's helping you do yoga, I'm all for it. Thank you. 
shenanigans lurking is totally fine. <laughs> Good to see you, Mac Joe. Thanks, Deadlock. Much appreciated. along to a different song again thanks all for being here today again this is a little bit different stream for me but i like i wasn't sure if i was going to do it and a lot of this is definitely put together last minute very impromptu in nature so thanks for being supportive as you all, you all usually are it helps oodles <laughs> DC pool. Thanks for the follow. How you doing? Hey Anubis, how you doing? Just Twitch. <laughs> All answers lead back to Twitch.
Enjoy your sleep, Dunder Zergy. Thanks for hanging out, and thanks for all the support tonight. It is greatly appreciated. I will catch you soon enough. this day, bruising the make of us. At times, over half of our bodies are not our own. Our persons made vessel for non-human cells. To them, we are a boat of a being, essential. A country, a continent, a planet, a human biome is all the writings formed on and inside this body, drafted under our life. We are not me, we are we. Call us what we carry. Wow, Amber, that what? that is impressive. <laughs> glad if it inspired that that is <laughs> that is <laughs> yeah <laughs> right johnny so true
made a tattoo, you know, of Cloud Strife and put it on her leg because, just because. <laughs> Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> That's all I gotta say on that one. <laughs> So I did not see the trailer for that, and shame on me. I guess I know what I'm doing after the stream. <laughs> out of lawnmower stuff <laughs> other than a theoretically clean yard that only lasts for like a week <laughs> and then you have to do it again <laughs> suspect Jaden. I don't know about that. <laughs> Again, for those of you who are trickling in, um, this is a stream to honor uh, Juneteenth, which I'm trying to keep up with freaking commands. <laughs> um, but in honor of the day, I'm doing a combination of ambient music and um, it's basically been good. I've been basically doing all of the poetry readings have been by Amanda Gorman with her book, uh, Call Us What We Carry. So this one is called Compass. This year, the size of a sea, sick to its stomach. Like a page, we are only legible when open to one another. For what is a book, if not foremost a body? Waiting and wanting, yearning to be whole, full of itself. This book is full of ourselves. The past is one passionate deja vu, one scene already seen. In history's form, we find our own faces, recognizable but unremembered, familiar yet forgotten. Please 
Do not ask who we are. The hardest part of grief is giving it a name. The pain pulls us apart like lips about to speak. Without language, nothing can live at all, let alone beyond itself. Lost as we feel, there is no better compass than compassion. We find ourselves not by being the most seen, but the most seeing. We watch a toddler free wheel through warm grass, not fleeing, just running, the way rivers do. For it is in their unfettered nature, we smile, our whole face cleared by that single dazzling thing. How could we not be altered? Yeah, at least Earth's Moon, at least like Father's Day and Juneteenth will not always fall on the same day. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, no worries, Earth's Moon. We'll be here. <laughs> That's okay, Jay. And again, I get I should make a command for this, and I'm also bad at making this on the spot, but the author is named Amanda Gorman. She's only in her twenties, and she's um, just phenomenal in the short period of time that she's made a splash in. Um, the U.S. with her poetry, but um, the book is called Call Us What We Carry, so if you like poetry, but it's easier for you to absorb it by reading it, which some people are, that is the source. As we reboot, not reboot, but as we turn off the deluge because it decided it wants to do something differently. Luckily, I finished that song, so it didn't matter so much, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see.
Oh man, ramen sounds really good right about now. <laughs> Thanks for implanting that idea. <laughs> the other day uh lamb korma there was something else but it was definitely lamb korma hey left heavy how's it going thank you for the raid welcome in raiders uh for those of you who don't know me i'm well i go by many names robin Toto, totes. <laughs> Take your pick. I answer to all of those. <laughs> We're doing a little bit different stream than usual for myself. Oh, I'll... oh, Mr. Troll, I'll get to the hydrate in one second. <laughs> thing, the thing I learned not to put a freaking. <laughs> okay, buddy, I gotta keep track of the other redemptions. It can't all be hydrate. <laughs> anyway. In honor of Juneteenth, I'm doing a combination of um, ambient music and reciting black poetry. So that's what we're doing. Um, if you, if anyone who's here wants uh, to hear a poem quicker, there's a Channel Points Redemption for it. Um, also, um, in honor of this day, um, I'm recommending people, like if they can, to donate directly to Black Girls Code. Um, but all bits and subs and everything that have come in today will also go towards that. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Redmaker. All right, the Can Crusher must continue this going. What was that, Urspoon? Recite some last poets? <laughs> oh, you actually, okay. See, see, <laughs> DNKTRL did not catch the poetry reading at the end of all those hydrates. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> Oh, Last Poet Society. I got, yes, yeah, I remember Dead Poets. Okay, anyway. Let's find. Okay, this one's called Every Day We Are Learning. Every day we are learning how to live with essence, not ease. How to move with haste, never hate. How to leave this pain that is beyond us, behind us. Just like a skill or any art, we cannot possess hope without practicing it. It is the most fundamental craft we demand of ourselves. Hey, Rook, how's it going? And again, for those newer coming into the stream, uh, most of the poetry I'm reciting is by Amanda Gorman uh, with the book, Call Us What We Carry. <laughs> yeah, 
this actually, as much as I was teasing my can-crushing friend, today is a day where the amount of hydrates actually are useful. <laughs> should have probably gotten two bottles of water. complicatedness of holidays as such. It's like, in one essence, it shouldn't have to be, because if it exists, then it's forcing people to reflect on a thing that they wouldn't be doing otherwise. But it's also complicated because since it is like, for, okay, so I'll do this. Hold on a second. For those who don't know, that is what the explanation of uh, Juneteenth is. And it's only been a federal recognized holiday for the second year this year. And probably the first time that most companies are able to actually bundle it into time off and so on and so forth. But there have also been missteps in how some organizations have chosen to try to honor it. So. Uh, it's 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 complicated is how I like to call it <laughs> so this is why I'm trying to do this more as like a reflection of sorts and also you know putting money towards a good cause of you know especially in this particular case. like I always will suggest like if ever I'm usually a good person if anyone ever needs to ask like what are good charities or like organizations to donate money to like the standards in terms of around here is usually like NAACP or um, the ACLU or so forth. Um, but again, I'm trying to also work towards helping support youth organizations so that way we better our world so that the youth help shift us into a society that is that does better. So that's what I have to say about that. Yeah, Jaden, I would say observing is like, like observing or honoring, I think is like better wording. When people say celebrate, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's like, I have, I have conflicted feelings. <laughs> I'll say celebrate and I'm like, how am I celebrating this? It's like, Again, most appreciated that you all are here and it's, we all here make things better in this world. Like it, it's what I say, especially people who are associated with the Golden Strip Guild. Like it's an example of here's a group of people who want to do better and support each other. And that's that's the, what I want the world to be more like, so. Thank you. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, thanks, Jaden. I, yeah, I mean, if this is an experiment, I'm not sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. So if people feel that this has been a good experience, like definitely let me know and I'll, 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 I'll do this annually. That's totally cool. Survey. 
I love it, you're a bonus. <laughs> a $5 Starbucks thing. Wait, does $5 still, like, cover, like, like a large drink? Or am I saying large because large is small? Because <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> Oh God, Jaden. Okay, I, I'd... That's that's a long stream. <laughs> I still think my longest stream is like three and a half hours, close to four. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to put in a lot of work during the year to to make it a 24-hour stream. <laughs> Wait, wait, now I have to ask Left Heavy. Does a puppuccino actually exist? Because if so, ah, <laughs> why? <laughs> why do people do this? <laughs> Thanks for the feedback, Mookie. How's it going? How's it going? Thank you. 
Father's Day does include being pet dads. That is a valid, valid thing. Alright, here is a shorter poem. It's called Life. Life is not what is promised, but what is sought. These bones, not what is found, but what we fought. Our truth, not what we said, but what we thought. Our lesson, all we have taken and all we have brought. Box. Every time I see that emote, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> it's like the cutest thing. <laughs> Thank you. Shoulders cracked on that one. <laughs> Thanks, Jaden. Yeah, I should have sampled it. <laughs> Lost opportunity. <laughs> Again, for those who are strolling in, it's a little bit of a different stream. Uh, well, the ambient music is, is that's a bit, but also reciting poems from in Amanda Gorman, Call Us What We Carry, in honor of Juneteenth. I have been doing stuff with her, but hold on a second. Yeah, I know, Wambra. Missed opportunity. switch it up well poetry wise i'm gonna do from classic langston hughes it's called as i grew older it was a long time ago i have almost forgotten my dream but it was there then in front of me bright like a sun my dream and then the wall rose rose slowly slowly between me and my dream rose slowly, slowly, dimming, hiding, the light of my dream. Rose until it touched the sky, the wall. Shadow, I am black. I lie down in the shadow, no longer the light of my dream before me, above me, only the thick wall, only the shadow. My hands, my dark hands, break through the wall, find my dream. Help me to shatter this darkness, to smash this night, to break the shadow into a thousand lights of sun, into a thousand whirling dreams of sun.
Oh, thanks, Data, for being here. Hope you sleep well. I'm sure I'll catch you <laughs> in some shrimp stream at some point. <laughs> Much love, my friend. <laughs> As Womber says, good night, Lecker Man. <laughs> Heavy, thank you for being here. Thanks for bringing your, your crew over here. It's very much appreciated. Hug the dogs. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'll catch you later. Oh, thank you, Knox. Greatly appreciated. Like I said, it's the perfect stream to lurk to, so it's all good. Best of luck with that, left heavy. <laughs> Look, I got through almost two hours without percussion. I had to sneak a little percussion in. Very subtle percussion. <laughs> make sure my Tuesday stream I better get as much percussion out of my system as possible considering like uh, for those of you who aren't aware uh, this weekend like long this weekend um, Zen I should have done a command I'm so unprepared for this <laughs> anyways <laughs> there's an ambient music festival that's happening on Twitch over the course of the weekend a lot of great people both you know guitarists synth players the whole works are coming together and doing a whole bunch of ambient music. Uh, Zen Modern Life is the one who's organizing the event. I'm trying to help out where I can. <laughs> um, and I think my set is on Saturday from 10 p.m. to midnight um, Eastern Standard Time. But there's like a lot going on. So dro uh, drop in wherever you can to check out some really good music. Yes, exactly, Knox. I have. <laughs> this is why I said I have to get my drums out now. Otherwise, the ambient police, aka Zen, is going to come after me. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, Wombra. I'm going to do like hardcore uh, techno ambient. Is that a thing? <laughs> Is Gabber ambient a thing? <laughs> I, you know, Knox, you know what's going to happen now is I'm going to like not on stream <laughs> but i'm gonna probably like tomorrow night in my downtime be like what does ambient at 180 bpm sound like <laughs> and then i'll see if i groan <laughs> acid techno at 60 bpm perfect johnny <laughs> I love you all. 
<laughs> you know, for, for you, Nox, if I do that, regardless of how crappy it sounds, I will record it and send it to you. And then you can judge me all you want. <laughs> You're probably not wrong, Jaden. Uh, the question is, is similar note here still? Chat, type in chat if you are. <laughs> I was asking if similar note was was in chat still. Yeah, yeah what Wombra said. I just, I, I promised him something, but I don't want to fulfill the promise if, if, he, if he isn't able to see it, so. It can wait till whenever one surfaces again.
One of my cats, Muta, is like, I gotta bounce. <laughs> Looking for treats or something. <laughs> No, there's not. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's actual. Like, if you use drums, you're out of the. <laughs> I. I suspect there will be some people that will trickle some amount of percussion, and yeah. <laughs> it's. It's more a running joke because Zen just likes to give me crap. Uh, Zen Martin life usually is just like, and the ambient police is here. <laughs> so, no, there's no hard rule on that. Again, thanks everyone for being here and coming in and um, just being very supportive of this. Again, it's a different stream than usual, um, but I, I feel like it's working out really well and it's been, it's been nice having something to do to kind of feel like I'm honoring this day appropriately. So thanks for all for being here. And now Muta. Muta's already prepping for, you know, next month's Cat Fest by be having the Zoomies. So I <laughs> I don't even know because cat. <laughs> and peace, Muta. <laughs> Thank you, Loki, for the hundred bits. And again, as I said before, all the bits and subs that have come through today are all going to go to Black Girls 
code. So again, thank you for the support you've been doing during the stream. It's been incredible. You all are wonderful humans. <laughs> all right, who gave Muta catnip while I wasn't looking? <laughs> So cat. This one is a little bit interesting because this one kind of deals with a treatment of our earth. <laughs> um, it's called Earth Eyes. What have we done? Currently our jaw is clamped down, our shoulders nailed to the ears, bones braced for brutal battle. By think of the next generation, we mean every day this very ground spoils beneath us for we are bringing to all the ends of the earth, the end of all the earth. Please believe us when we say we too ache to imagine something new. Reparation lies not in the land we own, but the very land we owe, the soil and toil we thieved in from the start. Nothing is a grander symmetry than this. Water drinkable, our air breathable, Birds built and blurred on a breeze. Trees heaving huge sighs into the heavens. Our children giggling and gilded in grass. Earnest for the first time, we must earn this turn earth back. Now we are begged to save it. We screech with kids who must fix the world because breathing it is no longer enough. The youth will save us, they say but even that is its own release. Our short lives now aimed at the oily-headed monsters that reared their teeth before we even gave our first wet croak. Generations of the past order be our recruits, not our rescues. Oh, how we want our parents red and restless and as wild and dying for a difference as we are.
being here, Olden fam. Pleasure to have you here. Hope you come back soon. <laughs> yes, Jaden, how did you know? The hardcore techno ambient section is about to begin. <laughs> So wouldn't be surprised if I end up doing this on occasion, like every, like once every month or so, since it seems to have garnished some interest. So, yay. barbecue is a good excuse. <laughs> I will accept that. weekend was surprisingly cool for like it was a cooler weekend for sure i was out in western mass uh to go to um mass mocha which is like museum of modern art out that way which is a fantastic museum if you haven't been and you like modern art totally should go um but i didn't dress appropriately i was like i had to borrow a friend's sweatshirt because i'm like uh it's kind of chilly out what is this <laughs> but it's still a nice weather. Oh, Jaden, you should, t I mean, if you don't, there are some people who don't like modern music, uh, modern music, modern art, and that's understandable. It's not everyone's taste, but they have some really cool um, kind of like interactive exhibits that are currently happening. One is actually, for those of you here who obviously like music, there's one really cool um, exhibit in that thing where this one guy basically created instruments that are just, I wouldn't say made up, but like he just created instruments that obviously the intent is that no one should have like experience in how to play them. So it's like basically like here are these random strings on like this bass that may or may not be tuned in a way that you think pluck them or hear a certain drums set up a certain way take a mallet and go to town it's it's cool K kids and adults both love it me for hear hearing sensitivity i like was in there for a couple minutes and i'm like i'm gonna nope out of here there's too many sounds coming at the same time <laughs> so but it was really cool Yeah, pretty much, Jaden. <laughs> I know the thing about that that the tree stump thing is, it, if nothing else, it's a really eye-catching like uh, 
centerpiece for your, you know, living room table. <laughs> Even if you don't get much use out of playing it yourself, it's like, it'll catch everybody's eye. <laughs> Hey, no, Mac Joe, that's super awesome. Yeah, 100% coffee table sets. Coffee. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you made me say that. Fired. <laughs> I feel like if I said that also three times fast, it would totally get screwed up. I have to read that first to figure out how to say that, Jaden. Juneteenth Fest. <laughs> Earlier, I did the first of the series of this poem, so this one is Arborescent number two. Like trees, we're always scoping out heat, not with our eyes, but the blur of our bodies, the celestial stitched inside us. Slant upward, for there are ways to sit and let joy find this injury, even as we let loss wash around our head like a low sound. We grasp at the very best of each other and begin.
opponent. I'm not sure James Baldwin did. He wrote a lot of very <laughs> thought-provoking novels, many of which I've read, especially uh, in my late teens and early 20s. But I'm not sure he did poetry, though. And now, something I will research after this stream, because I am curious. Thanks for being here, Jaden. Thanks for your support today. <laughs> Enjoy your RPG. How's it going?
called when we forget this immensity it will still be ours for we wrote such mysteries down we did the thing others dared not we collected all the dazzling and dangerous and dreamed aches scrapped them though we did not yet have words by which to map them someone will remember us this even if another time, even if by any other name. We wrap our arms around ourselves as if we can possibly hold the whole of who we are within us, everything that makes us this unearthly speck we are. Perhaps tomorrow cannot wait to be today. In this one life, we, like our joy, are fleeting but certain, abstract and absolute, ghosts who glow and glow.
everybody. I made it to two hours and 40-ish minutes, so not too bad for someone who is just physically and socially exhausted from this weekend. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe it'll be an hour stream. We'll see what we can do. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, again, I want to thank everyone for being here. This um, has been a very cool and different experience um, and experimental for me, uh, the blend of poetry and ambient music, which makes sense. But again, I didn't really prep this, so this was definitely a go with the flow, see how this works, take notes and figure out how to improve from here. Um, but most importantly, thanks for all your support. Uh, again, as I've said uh, the entire time, everything that's been uh, sent by bits and subs is going to go to the Black Girls Code organization, so thank you. <laughs> nice try, Didbox. This is not a Synthfest highlights reel, the extend doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, <laughs> if you aren't following me already and enjoyed what you hear, I do a whole bunch of different types of genres, ambient, down-tempo, dance, chiptune. It varies on what I'm in the mood for. Um, my normal streams are Tuesdays uh, at 4.30 p.m. EDT. I will probably do this one, but it'll probably, it might be a shorter one on Tuesday because... This weekend, again, is like the Ambient Music Festival. There's a lot of really good people, a lot of people in this channel that are performing for that. So, so many great talents here. Um, my set is on Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anyways, yeah, you're, you're cute, Dead Fox. Nice try again. <laughs> Thanks again for being here. I'm going to quickly find... Okay, I have a red target. Hold on a second. So we're going to go and visit P-Chops. Um, again, much love to everyone here. You all are great. Thanks for making this day feel special in a way that I could try to capture Juneteenth. So, oh yeah, and again, because I'm bad, feel free to, there's a Discord, there's, if I type anything correctly, no, why would that be socials? Because I make things more difficult on myself. Yeah, anyways, there's a Discord. <laughs> Follow me there if you want. Their Instagram's under the same name, so on and so forth. Okay, let's go say hi to P-Chops. Love you all. Thanks for being you. I'll catch you on Tuesday or Saturday or in one of your streams, because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> Love you all. That's good to know. I will, knowing that, I will try to do these, you know, once in a while. So thanks for the feedback.